like I was showing y'all, we met up with my boy Tony last night. Shout out the mechanic. Did I just touch myself with the Sharpie on the net? I don't know. Check with that later. I tapped in on my boy Tony. My boy drew me up a dummy proof, searched VIN number, VIN match, all my parts from what website to get it. Bro, apparently I got an A1Z package Z01, top of the line. Certain stuff that makes the brakes work that the normal Z01 1LE doesn't have, I don't know. Hopefully this was the last part of this process that we needed to do. Part that was stressing your boy out, y'all could tell. Hopefully these parts will ship within a week. Hopefully the car will be like ready to be painted within like maybe two weeks, hopefully. My mom just clutched up shout out dukes with the mobile order on the valentine's day it's like valentine's day at the time of ordering this so mom clutched up with the with a heart chicken nuggets you know what i'm saying shout out dukes in the comments she's got me looking good bro it's been a hard time and i feel bad all these people trying to trying to help your boy out i'm appreciative of y'all but bad things happen sometimes that is what it is but shout out mom for the free food not gonna lie that helps out bro i've been trying to save pennies because like Y'all saw, bro, I was dead at, like, I was expecting five, six grand in damage before paint and then have to spend an extra however much on paint. And I added it up last night. It came out like 2,800 bucks, bro. I'm pretty sure this was just added on my calculator. So I don't know what I'm going to be hit with added on top of that. So I've been kind of stressing out, you know what I'm saying? and trying to get right because that's money i could have put towards something else like y'all do know i am getting property and building me a crib here coming soon and i might have just found a spot you know what i'm saying so i gotta do all that and go through all that and it cost almost like a down payment of what i had what i was expecting to be paying and i did not want to be doing that i'm not gonna lie like i was not looking forward at all but i'm gonna get back to my list we've already got like eight done 68 pieces i think i got everything two thousand nine hundred seventy six dollars so if you ever think about wrecking this is just like the most minimalistic if i was going like five miles an hour faster i missed like my oil pan under there which was like gonna double my whole expenses if i hit that and i somehow didn't scratch that didn't scratch the hood bro got super lucky like that is pretty much all that money right there. Half of that, or three-fourths of that, is just for the bumper. And then the rest is just to make the air ducts and brakes and all the plastic pieces in there, bro. Everything is like an $80 charge. The front grill that you see on the bumper, 260 bucks. The upper grill where the Chevy symbol is, 240 bucks, bro. So the bumper alone, 745 bucks. We got a grand total of pretty much right at three grand to wreck a Z01, bro. I don't advise it. I'm about to go back up to work, do something, come back, press go on all these parts. Shout out to my boy Tony for getting that together, not gonna lie. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I got everything added up. 2,800 bucks and they want $1,236 for shipping, bro. So I'm currently on Route B. I thought this was about to be way better than I thought, but that just got my numbers all the way back up to just a crazy number. So I'm hitting some people up now, trying to see if I'm about to dead ass be paying a $1,200 shipping, or if I order these parts from somewhere else, if I save that, so I don't know. But for everybody who is here, for the ones that actually care about your boy and the progress of the ZL1, my mind's just been on a jamble. So this is really just an episode of, like y'all can tell bro, my face, I'm breaking out everywhere, bro. Your boy's looking kind of screwed area and it's kind of looking ugly. But look at little Wardo. She been pulling through. Well, we've been in the house for like a week together, bro. So, you know, I'm going to get out of here soon. But I don't know what else to do besides vlog the journey and talk to y'all boys because I can't leave the crib. You know what I'm saying? I got no I got no car. The Ranger's down with the tire. So I haven't really been driving around. So I haven't had a lot of mixed emotions. I've, You know what I'm saying? I've spent a lot of time in the crib thinking about this, thinking about, you know, everything that's happened, bro. But um, got my boy... Help me out. Just got my last final quote. Hopefully this is all right. Um, I should know more Monday. Monday, today, it is currently Saturday, so I have a couple days. This is like a week long, the day after I wrecked till now, bro. So almost almost two weeks. Two weeks starting by the time I'll get my quote in about of time since I've actually wrecked my car. And, um, you know, it's been a long process, ups and downs, bro. I've went from having a quote of like, 28, 2900 to 4400, just for the same parts, just across the board from different people, different situations, 
asking somebody for this and this is without paint bro so this is like literally just getting my parts like that quote y'all saw online 4400 just for parts and they're trying to charge 1200 for shipping is od getting parts hopefully ordered monday car get put back together hopefully within a couple days of the parts coming back in and um then i'll be sending it off to painted I know this video has been all over the place. I don't really know how this video is gonna do because I am uploading it like, like recording of this time. My videos are just so far behind. This is helps me allow to figure out the situation. If I didn't actually plan my videos and record like I do, bro, I would be, I wouldn't have posted in two weeks. It's crazy, right? But I appreciate everybody through this time and I um, appreciate everybody who's helped me through this process. I appreciate everybody who's understood because I still have to this day kept this hidden from y'all. Like I've told my boys that were there, one person, you know, at work. And other than that, nobody's known besides people that have Snapchatted me and have seen something, but I haven't replied to y'all. It's not because I hate y'all boys, but it's like, y'all got to watch my videos. Y'all know what I'm saying? I got to get my bag up. Y'all got to watch these videos, watch these ads. Make sure to drop a like on this video. Hit that subscribe button and let me know how you feel, bro. Um, hopefully soon. With the coming up days, I'm going to be updating y'all, coming to see the parts, get the car back together, the parts that come in. I'm going to show y'all all the parts. I'm going to show y'all my boy Tony helping me build my car back, the finished process. Bro, it's currently 8.37 in the morning on a Saturday, bro. I've been going to sleep at like 10 in the morning, so I have just haven't done a whole lot, bro. Like, I've literally been stuck in the crib. Um, but I appreciate everybody through this process. Y'all just bear with me. I'm not going to give up because if I give up, that would just... Defeat the whole purpose. Y'all know me and y'all saw when I wrecked, something told me not to be mad, but sometimes it got I got a little frustrated through the process of the week after, so I apologize to anybody that I may have had an attitude with in real life, bro. It's just been a hard week. I know I shouldn't be worried about minimalistic things. I should be happy I'm here, but the cars are my dreams. They're my passions. That's the reason, the whole reason I'm behind this camera is just because I want to achieve goals. I want to be able to document this for y'all. I want to take y'all and show y'all that it's possible, and I want to be able to show y'all that if I can do it, you can do it because I'm no normal person beside like i'm not i'm not any different from y'all bro like i literally didn't have this y'all saw my whole life change before youtube getting my hellcat getting my corvette getting my bikes getting my first house like my whole life is documented bro and i just want to show y'all that you can go back and watch my progress everybody's story is going to be different um i just i pray to god every time through this process i was praying i stayed prayed up and I had a cool incident come out of this to where I might be coming up on land, bro. So I'm going to take y'all through the process. Y'all know at the beginning of this year when I had to renew my lease for this place that I was talking about getting a barn and getting some land and build a little thing. Can't go in too much because I feel like some of y'all be watching me and the people with the money just are able to do it before me. So I'm going to keep everything to myself. The true people know what I want to do and it's going to happen soon. Hopefully by the end of this year, I've got some things lined up that Reckon my car has met me or got me to talk to people and look at land and somehow God works in mysterious ways. So I don't want to speak too much on it, but I'm going to speak it into existence by telling y'all boys so y'all see it. Maybe it'll happen somehow. That's what you got to do. Study your laws. Study your laws of the universe. Cause and effect. Study everything. Study law of attraction. Study all these things, bro. The mind is a powerful thing. Just speak about it. Do it. Do yourself. Just be positive. Pray. Study the mind. Free your mind. Be yourself. It's going to be a hard process, but I promise it's going to be okay, bro. Without YouTube and without being out of school and without having all this time alone, bro, y'all know I spend 99% of my time alone. It's hard sometimes, but without this time, bro, you'd never have time to actually let your mind fully just think. Um, so I'm just showing y'all the realistic by yourself grind. I'm going to take y'all through this process. Hopefully this land does come through because that would be a game changer y'all know i've been wanting that but god supplies things at the right time for you and everything's on his time bro so you just got to kind of chill back lay back don't give up on your dreams keep working on them everybody's story is different it's going to take a little bit of time you know what i'm saying um sorry for yapping this whole video is pretty much a yap session shout out to the fucking four four forty eight or four eighty eight absolutely insane to this day shout out to everybody that is here watching this video I don't know how my video my car wrecking did, but I appreciate everybody that showed me love in that video. Everybody that showed me love in this video, I'm never going to give up. Y'all stay down, y'all stay true to yourself, and I've got a lot of big things planned, and I'm never going to give up until I get there. So if I'm 80 years old, still vlogging, and you know, that's what I'm going to have to do, but 
eventually everybody's going to know my story. Y'all are going to know just if you have a vision, it doesn't have to be YouTube. Just believe in it. Do yourself. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's got to understand and nobody's got to believe it. That's why the vision was given to you boys. So don't give up on it. Nobody knows how to get there. You see the end goal. You just got to figure out the results of how to get there. As part of the game. We don't know what it's going to take. You go through a lot of things, bro. Don't struggle. Struggle is normal. Don't give up on your struggles, bro. That's how you get better. You can't be a good person without struggles, bro. It's all a part of the story that you're going to be able to tell at the end. Without all these stories and situations and wrecking my car on camera and growing up and becoming a person that I've always wanted to be, it took being alone. So if you're praying to become the person you want and you're praying for your goals and you're getting separated from all these people, bro, it's for the better. Just stay down, stay true to yourself, never lose yourself in the process, you know what I'm saying? Y'all probably see me growing a lot. Now y'all are like, bro, this is the real Bailey. This is the real Bailey, bro. I've got nothing to lose. I've wrecked my car and camera. I've heard it all. I've been made fun of. I've been made fun of the process. My process has taken longer. I've posted three times the amount of the YouTubers that have like 10 mil views. I've posted more videos than them, and I don't even got 10K yet. So this is a road to 10K, road to 100K. Once we get 10K, it's up, bro. I heard it's a cheat code, 10K, and it's up from there. I'm going to keep grinding, bro. We're going to do this thing, and... Wherever I go, I'm going to just record and vlog. Y'all stay down. Y'all stay true to yourself, man. Hit that like, comment, subscribe, boys. You're Bailey Wise. And next time y'all see me, maybe I'll be surveying, looking at this land, looking at my car parts when they come in, keeping y'all updated throughout the process. So I am truly, truly sorry that the process is taking a little bit off course, but I just got to trust God, and that's why I'm speaking to y'all right now. So I'm going to figure this out. Y'all are going to be there to support. Watch if you want. Support if you want. Um... Shout out to everybody, man. Appreciate y'all. Without y'all, I wouldn't be here. Appreciate everybody showing love. And, uh, we're going to get through this time. I uh, apologize for wrecking the whip and y'all not getting the car content, but y'all know um, God knows and everybody that is really around me in person knows that it's. I don't really do this for the cars and the bikes and the cribs and the people that want me because y'all know like if I go in public, I don't talk. I'm one of the most quiet persons in public, but when I'm comfortable fully around y'all, bro, I don't shut up. Kind of like how I'm doing right now, but um, I never have done this for anything besides just the fact of I've, I've learned to like to motivate people. I've learned how to speech. I've started to enjoy speech. I've enjoyed kind of motivating because I'm one of those people that got made fun of starting the YouTube stuff going into high school. I had my dreams of like doing things, get kicked to the rocks, bro. So life has been nothing but just a story I feel like I should share. It's strengthened me and without negative things to strengthen you up you would never be where you are so without all the negatives in life i would not be where i am you got to remember that bro with every negative you got to have a positive and every positive you're gonna have a negative that's just life that's how you know what's good and what's bad sorry i'm yapping bro but i appreciate all y'all because this is truly me this is i just enjoy talking and motivating y'all boys so i'm gonna figure this out bro y'all are gonna see me do big things i expect y'all to do big things 2024 is supposed to be our year now if something does go south bro it's for the better you got to think of that seasons like the earth has it's cold it's hot you got to have good and bads in life so don't give up if you're going through a time like i am right now seems like that time of the year where people are starting to go through things but i appreciate everybody for real stay humble stay yourselves don't give up on the bigger picture bro it's okay to have bad days but I promise as long as you get through them and don't give up that's all God is doing is testing you to make sure you actually want it. So I'm going to get through this with y'all, man. Y'all are going to watch me get through it, and I appreciate all y'all. Today, and today, and today, in today's episode, I don't even know what this video is going to be hold. I'm just going to take y'all along a little vlog. I'm about to feed y'all because I've been waiting 30 minutes, bro. I've literally recorded this intro, like, for the last hour. So before my sandwich is, like, actually any colder, y'all get a bite, and I'm going to get a bite real quick. You fat bastards, I swear, bro. Y'all be eating half my sandwich every time I share food with y'all. Y'all don't know how to just wait and be patient. But in today's video, if you are new to the channel, it's probably because of this video right here. I'm going to throw it up on the screen. Uh -oh. <laughs> Now, if you have not watched that video, y'all go make sure to check it out. Run that video up so your boy can come back even better because that was unfortunate. I'm not going to lie. Your boy done crashed out. But I'm back with another video. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And if you haven't went full screen yet, let me know if it did that cool like little animation around the subscribe or the like button because I saw it on somebody else's channel. I'm just trying to see if it works on mine. Um, today... You know, I just made a cup of joe, it's a Saturday, and you're probably like, bro, Bailey, you stink, you have no car, you're a bum. What are you gonna do? You're wearing the same clothes and you have no car and you haven't left the house in two weeks. 
Um, well, I've got good news for you. I've got good news. Today, I might be going to link with my guy, Tony, the guy that is fixing my car that y'all saw in the last video. The last video of like talking about wrecking my car the day after I wrecked my car, the whole process of that, check that out as well if you're trying to figure out how much damage was on my car. But I'm gonna be linking up with him. In my last video, I went over there and he said that he does have some land that he might be able to sell. So he talked about um, taking some trees down and measuring me out some land to figure out if that's a possibility. For all the new subscribers, if y'all don't know, I've been trying to build a barn dominium for like, literally you can ask all my friends and family. I've been trying to build a barn dominium since like I understood what a house was and that I had to move out eventually and get my own crib. So, Without further ado, I'm going to take y'all through a vlog. I don't got the Z, so I'm sorry about that. We're going to be in the fucking Ranger with the bald tires that I need to change. Everything kind of hit me at once in life. I'm not going to lie. But God's good. God's got me. God's going to do great things. God's not going to put you through anything that you cannot conquer, chat. I know it's unfortunate. Y'all saw in the last videos I have wrecked, so I'm trying to figure out that process. And it's been hard, bro. I ain't going to lie. But I've been up and down, and numbers have been up, and numbers have been down, and that's obviously affecting my mood. I shouldn't let monetary things affect my mood because cars are replaceable and people are not, and I'm proud to be here, and I'm thankful to be here, and everybody was safe during that process, but it's time to rebuild, come back better than ever. I'm not going too high. So in this video, I'm going to be hopefully going to meet up with Tony, cut down some trees, hopefully not cut down some trees because your boy's not trying to cut down some trees, but hopefully go measure out some land, see if that's a potential land thing because the land looks perfect, bro. I have been waiting and I've been trying to find land and I had found land. I built a, a um, I came up with a blueprint for my like barn that I want to be able to build and um, bro, the, the builder never got me my quote back. So that was unfortunate, but everything does happen for a reason and hopefully this is the time. Or hopefully this is the time. If you are new, y'all do know that at the beginning of this year, I was trying to get out of this crib or this apartment and get into starting to build my process and build my dream home for like my first dream home. Obviously I have dreams, but I wanna acquire this first to be able to go to the next step, bro. Cause I think with this step, it's gonna put me all the way up here to be able to do anything I want. Nobody else is doing that thing like me and I'm gonna be doing that. Now I'm about to go on a bike ride, bro. I told y'all I was about to shower, but not gonna lie, I'm about to take the 250 out if you are new to the channel. I know that probably some of y'all are probably literally subscribed to my channel just for the bikes cause there for a while I was trying to do bikes and cars, but eventually I'm gonna have a cameraman and learn how to do this. And um, I just like the vlog style. If y'all are familiar with like Brap's channel, um, how he has the cars, the lifestyle, and the bikes, and it's kind of all in one big video. And that way I don't have to dedicate just full videos to that and bikes, and y'all just are here for me. I have the bigger goal and bigger vision, it's just the process of getting there. It's all gonna come along, but I stopped kind of recording bikes. One, just for safety reasons, my stunt driver, he doesn't ride bikes on camera for me no more. Also, I just started to enjoy riding dirt bikes and it was something I've always wanted to do. And um, I just felt like I was trying to force everything and force content and put myself in situations where I'd like burn myself out, you know? And I enjoy the bikes, so I'm about to take these out. I'm not gonna be recording this for y'all in this vlog. But if y'all do want to see like daily vlogs and have the bikes in there, let me know down below. I just don't know what you like to see, but I have everything and I'm going to try to enjoy the bikes instead of just feeling like I got to work and record and that's the whole reason of me riding. So I'm going to go on this bike ride. I'm going to pick up with y'all boys when I get back and then I'm going to shower. Then I'm going to get my day started and try to go see the car, go see the land and uh, do all that. So I'm going to pick up with y'all boys when I get back. Your boy done fit it up. Hey, right the fit, right the fit from the top half up. I'm gonna show you the shoes I got on. I'm back in from riding bikes. Not gonna lie, your boy did not get the phone call to go look at the land today, but that's all right. Y'all just stay tuned for that because I'm sure I'll be going out there at some point. My boy just hit me with the, you know what I'm saying? I asked, like, I was like, hey, bro, you can see right here. You want me to come Paul Bunyan some trees? You can see, you want me to come Paul Bunyan some trees so we can get this land activated. But uh, turns out, I guess maybe not today, maybe tomorrow. I'm gonna keep y'all updated with the land process because that is truly coming to the channel at some point. But y'all write the Monclesi, you know what I'm saying? Big Monclesi on me. And then I think underneath I'm going 
you know what I'm saying, a little match the interior liner. And then I'm not gonna lie, I do got the basic gray sweats on, but I just be chilling. I just be chilling, back nothing too crazy. And then look, hold on, hold on let me do that again. Let me do it again. Oh, hold up. That's not how you do it, that's not how you do it. Hold on, let me get the head ass. And then, fuck, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna eventually get this right, hold on, hold on. You know what I'm saying with the Gucci slides on there? That took a lot longer than it should have. But the other day, me and my boy CJ, we cooked up half a fucking steak. We cooked up fat steaks, and this is like the, the half that I have not heated up yet. Um, not gonna lie, I just did clean this. I gotta cut this up and cook it before it goes bad. Turns out instead, I might bring y'all to the gym. Might bring y'all boys to a car meet tonight. I'm trying to figure out right now. I'm waiting for my boy CJ. Let me make sure y'all boys can see me. I'm waiting for my boy CJ right now as we speak, and we are going to probably, I'm going to be eating, and then we might hang out, then go to the gym, you know, do all that good stuff that y'all boys like to see. I'm having to improvise, because without the cars, I'm just going to, this is like a good learning curve for me, you know, everything happens for a reason, so I'm trying to stay in the, in the happiness, and so far everything's going good, we're still alive. We're just gonna be growing this channel, y'all know. I have to improvise on my content, so y'all are gonna be seeing like a lot more of what your boy does, because I'm not gonna lie, I don't really vlog in the crib, just because, I don't know, maybe because the views don't, don't go up. I gotta stop doing that. I gotta stop just trying to do what the viewers like and just record myself. That's the whole thing, so I'm gonna grow with y'all. And I might try to bring y'all boys in the gym and get a couple swole sets in and uh, let y'all get swole with your boy, because I haven't been to the gym in like over a year, boys. I haven't been in over a year. I think since like before last March. So I'm small as ever now. And um, yeah, your boy gets swole really quick. So I have really not gone just because like I'm gonna be the fucking biggest swole daddy on this app. And I really don't need to be at top of every category. Like I'd hate to really go boss up on y'all in the gym department and in the cars and in fashion and all that. So I've been kind of holding back, you know what I mean? But it'll be all right. I'm gonna cook up some steak, that, that medium rare. Y'all let me know down below how y'all cook y'all steak cause I like that medium rare. And right now it's cold and it's looking kind of scary. And I'm not a big fat on the steak person so I'm trying to figure out how to cut around that. You know, it's my first time living alone. So I've had to learn a lot of things cause like my mom's not here to do it for me. Usually I would just be like, hey dudes, you know what I'm saying? Cut this up for me, but we don't got that. We don't got that no more. If y'all know, y'all know the living, moving out. If you're new to moving out, or maybe you're at that age where you're about to have to move out, or you're going to college, pretty much the same thing. Just I don't, just no roommate. It's just be me and my thoughts 99% of the days. Even at work, I work alone. So I've had to just become like a strong, independent person. Not gonna lie. So it's hard at some times, but really, if you can be alone, you can be with anybody. So learning how to become happy alone is really the key to all of this so y'all get to see everything y'all get to see me go crazy y'all get to see me be happy i'm about to put the rest of this in the ziploc bag because your boy is not about to eat all of this fat steak make sure it's not touching it's gonna be probably like a fat medium after it comes out the microwave gonna kill all that extra bacterials in there i i i i not looking too bad let me see what y'all boys got on. That's Chef Bailey, bro. I actually cooked that too. I've been learning how to cook a little bit because Shorty and all the homies saying, bro, you gotta figure out how to cook. No, if you don't know, now you do. A1, I don't care how good of a steak. Like, I promise you, if I go to a restaurant and order a thousand dollar steak or something exponential, I know I've never had a, like over a hundred dollar meal before, but if I do go somewhere, I don't care how good the steak is. Let me know though, like, are y'all rocking with A1? Do y'all put sauce on that? People say it's disrespectful, but I just genuinely like how it tastes. No matter how good the steak is, I'm not about to eat that thing without A1. Still ain't made it out the crib, but we chilling back. You know what I'm saying? Feet kicked up. Just taking in the scenery, you know? Just was figuring I'd tap in with y'all, let y'all know that everything's gonna be all right, man. The only thing you can do is just try to be better than you were the day before, and Sometimes there's days like today, bro, where I didn't do anything to progress towards, you know, becoming better or getting closer to my dreams. Like, obviously, I have the camera kicked up, but, bro, I'm literally, like, laying in my crib, bro, and my cat's up here. 
she like literally runs the crib and I know this is just like not what y'all expected and I'm sorry my crib is actually just a mess but it's a cluttered mess you know what I mean and I was just looking here and just admiring and just looking around and like I've just never thought I'd ever be in this position to be able to talk to y'all never be in this position to I never thought I'd be in this position to like have this site bro like something about this site just makes me proud bro you know like I never would have expected to have a crib and like I just have my crib set up how I want it bro these were actually like probably the only one of the only investments I've ever bought bro I bought these back when they were like $210 at like OG days probably like I was in junior or senior year of high school and now I think they're like double now so it's probably the only in like investment I bought that's increased not gonna lie to y'all but I just want to let y'all know bro if y'all go through times where you just feel like your progress isn't progressing like the people around you it's probably for a reason you know big things take big big time to acquire so I've just been you know we go through hard times but there's always going to be something better in the end you know so I just want y'all to keep y'all's heads up I know I'm waiting for my boy CJ right now as I'm talking to y'all and um we should be hitting the gym. I don't know. It's probably too late for car meets, but I'm going to update y'all as everything I do. I'm going to try to just take the camera and vlog and do what I do and just try to take y'all everywhere. So I'm going to try to sneak y'all boys into the gym. First time recording in the gym, so we're going to see how that goes. First time back in the gym for a year, so figured your boys got to get swole and take over the internet on a swole body. You know, there's a bigger journey, and I'm spending a lot of time not doing anything, but I want to be able to document my workout journey with y'all so i'm probably going to end up trying to hit the gym and once my car situation like my ranger needs new tires i'm getting new tires put on the ranger monday so that whole ordeal is going to be a little bit better and your boy won't like have to worry about blowing a tire so i haven't really left the house since i've wrecked the z and obviously y'all know my situation with the z i've got to get it fixed and back and trying to hide that from people i'm getting text messages and i'm using old videos on instagram to post and yeah, bro, I've just got this whole situation under control, thankfully. Shout out to God for allowing me to have the content to be able to post, and I've fortunately worked enough to have old videos that I can just chop up and do while I'm in this process of being down. So just always, always, always believe in yourself, bro. That's the only person that's ever going to believe in you. You know, there's not going to be a whole lot of people around you through the grind if you're starting YouTube. You're going to have your homies that support you, but they're not always going to be there. They've got lives, and the people around you have lives, and everybody's just trapped in doing what they want to do, and everybody's got things they got to conquer, and everybody's life is different. And you got to think, bro, if y'all are watching me and y'all are still in high school, or maybe you just got out of high school, or maybe you're around my age, bro, truthfully, um, once you get out of school, bro, you lose a, in contact of a lot of people, but that's just life. Life gets serious, you know what I'm saying? You either get kicked out the house or you're still trying to figure out how to make it out the house and turn your dreams into reality, and it's a hard process. So I don't knock anybody that you know gets busy. I've been down the past. I've chased the girls. I've spent all my time with the girls, and now I've found my girl, and I've been locked in when I should have been locked in back in, like, ninth grade. But for everything... There's a lesson, you know, I've done bad things, I've learned from things, and I became a better person, and I want to say shout out to God for everything, and he's made me a better person, and truthfully, if there's one thing I can do, if I can inspire y'all to do, is just read the Bible, even not from a religious standpoint, or from a religious standpoint, it's just a nice moral code of how to live a life, and how to train your brain just to try to stay positive, it's a positive mental book, so just want y'all to believe in yourself, and try to forgive people bro forgiveness is the biggest thing everybody's stuck in their own life and we all got different things and we're all going through things that the eye doesn't know so let's just be easy on each other you know um i, I enjoy motivational speaking and um i guess during my downtime that's what y'all are going to get a lot of i'm going to figure it out and through my downs i'm going to be able to conquer this and get through it and become a better person in the end and it's another story to tell your kids. So if you are struggling with big things, you know, life is hard sometimes. And you are you may be going through things that are more important, obviously, than wrecking a car. Um, but 
I just want y'all to know it's all for a reason. Like, you're, if you're a person that's attracting a lot of bad things and you're just a genuinely good person, remember, you got to be a genuine person or it doesn't really matter. But if you are trying to be and you are being a good person and you're doing things for the people around you and you're becoming a better person than you were months ago, remember, if you acquire bad things that aren't your fault or maybe somewhat out of your hands to be able to control it's just God trying to make you stronger. It's a story that you are going to be able to tell for your kids and your family and the people around you. Bro, without bad things, nobody, like, it's, it's like a movie, bro. Nobody's going to watch a movie that everything just goes perfect their whole life. So you got to keep in mind that you got to have a good story to keep the people entertained. Um, I just didn't want y'all to forget that. That's my wise words for the day. Not going to lie to you. I'm going to pick up with y'all when CJ gets to the crib and we get to the gym, bro. First day back in the gym. Make it money. Tell them what time is it, CJ? Well, we racing. First day back in the gym, and this boy got a beater on. Y'all let me know. Hold on, keep the vein, Co. What are you doing right now? In all Stretching. honesty, do what? Stretching. For the first time in a gym in a year, my heart rate hasn't been extended over like 15 beats. <laughs> 15 beats, you're dead. In like a year. <laughs> Motivational speech while you're hitting your, your max set right now. What you got to tell them? Is this my max? This is your max. What you got to tell your fans right now? They're coming to you. They say, CJ, how do you get so swole? Y'all can see them. What's your plan? Is eat as much candy as possible. It keeps you young. You're like a fucking five-year-old body. But you're just muscular. And until you give me a solid motivational speech, you can't stop. Last day of high school getting kicked out. You got nowhere to be. You're not done. There's no mistakes in life. Just, just gotta fucking open that, John. But it don't move. No, I these are just... looking like we fucking need machines, bro. <laughs> I'm yes, born they're... in the 50s. I don't know how to do it. Oh, my God. Bro, if you could do 12, you could do 12 more. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> How's the point five look? Slight. Slight. Bro speaks in the maddest ad libs, brother. This is our first time actually linking on camera since we wrecked the whip. In the gym, vlogging, doing things you never would have ever thought. If the path is going here, you go here. That's how you stand out. <laughs> if you're watching this right now, you're the, you know what I'm saying. Made it back in from the gym. That girl sleepy. Look at her chat. Drop a dub down below for that girl Ivy. Just got back from the gym. I'm looking very homeless right now. Not gonna lie, when I put a hat on, and it's that time for a fade, but I haven't got a fade. But I'm gonna keep y'all up to date with my gym progress. I'm gonna keep it conspicuous too. Shardy, I know you're watching. Um, just know, like, I love you, babe. And you know, you're really my Shardy forever. You know what I'm saying? We're for lifers, but they wanna see the gym progress. If I'm throwing gym content in, y'all wanna see it. This is my first day back in the gym. I'm getting swole. I'm gonna be motivational for y'all. I'm gonna go all in. Y'all gonna see the progress. You know, my shorty, y'all got me, she got me back into the gym. So like, without her, I wouldn't be doing this ish right now. Not gonna lie, I had the pants rolled up because I'm tight, but uh, my pants fall down. I don't know if y'all can even see me. We're gonna get a full look around. Haven't worked out in over a year. Uh, there's a fucking frontal flexal, you know what I'm saying? And then we're gonna go right there. I'm a genetically mutated Ninja Turtle though, chat. And I grow freaking big for no reason, super quick. I'ma update y'all, I wasn't looking straight in the lens, I was looking at the, the camera lens because I'm a freaking shy guy, chat. And I, um, you know, it's taken a lot to get to this point, but in life you just eventually realize it doesn't matter, you know, at the end of the day what people say. It's a mental block for me, but I've been praying to come out of my comfort zone. It's 2.04 in the morning on a Saturday. I haven't left my house until just then, so I appreciate CJ for picking my ass up because I would not be in the gym without my boy. And my girl, she got me back in that one day. I did not record, but next time we're together, we'll try to hit a gym session or do something. We'll figure something out or we'll bring it to the channel. Let me know if that's something y'all do enjoy. It's the gym content. First day back in the gym looking swole. We're gonna get into the shower because I'm crusty. I'm probably gonna eat as well because I'm hungry. And when I work out, I, I get super hungry, bro. Super hungry. And this, she takes after me. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I feed her bowl up like 15 times a day, bro. 15. And if y'all know, this girl's never this sweet. So 
I'm appreciative of her. I'm not gonna lie as well. I gotta throw laundry in. I'm really bad at laundry. I live out of the uh, out of the washing machine. Not willing to lie. Like I take my clothes off, I throw it in here a couple days after they're sitting on my bathroom floor, throw them in there, and then I wash it, throw it in the basket, and it's up after that. My cat also did knock off my headphones, bro. Oh, both of them still in there. I got super lucky. Usually she knocks off my headphones for some reason. She stays knocking off my Apple headphones. Why would you do that? You got lucky this time, not gonna lie. But usually she knocks them off. I lose one or two or all of them and I have to lay on the ground because they're like connect to my phone. So I gotta hide everything. And then I'll like have to fucking walk around the crib and find my headphones. It's, it's goofy. But hopefully sometime in this video, I got 36 minutes left. At this point, if you are watching to this point, drop down below that you like hour long videos. Let me know that you're watching. I know um, y'all been watching my videos a lot longer since I've been dropping the long term content, the long time. It's like short films, bro. Not gonna lie. I'm cold though. I'm probably about to go shower because I freaking stink. I need a haircut. Santi, if you're watching, I need to come see you. CJ, my boy just came and got a cut. He said you'd be watching. Every time we go in there, eventually, I told my boy, I'm going to bring the camera in there. We're going to do what I do. I'm growing. I'm putting myself in situations to grow and adapt. And my biggest fear is low-key, for some reason, recording on the camera. And that's, like, my job. Or I'm trying to make it my job, you know. So it doesn't really make sense. But, hey, I don't know. I'm going to try to conquer that. Usually, you're scared. Whatever you're scared of, like, if it's a genuine, like, fear, you know what I mean? If you're actually scared of it, then I gotta switch hands like my shoulder's burning. First day back in the gym beat me up, not gonna lie. Pause on that as well. But if you do know, what was I saying, bro? Damn, I just be talking, but I really just have motivational-ish to say. And um, yeah, I don't remember what I was saying. That's how you know I just talk so much. Sometimes I just get in flow states and I can just talk forever. Cause that's what I enjoy, bro. Not gonna lie, I guess I'm gonna cut up the rest of this steak from earlier because I don't know what else to do. I got a lot of steak in here. Look at my fridge too. And though, bro, chat, I don't drink. I might have one beer if it's like my boy's birthday and I have to type deal. I don't have to, but it's all like I haven't bought none of that, bro. Just brought to my crib and left for free. Everybody just comes to my house and drinks for free because somehow I just get re-upped by the time they get back to my crib. I got a whole nother case of beer in there. They drink a couple, somebody comes over, leaves a whole case of beer. I guess that's what happens when you get a crib, but your boy don't really drink. I don't really care about drinking. It makes me feel like dookie. I promise like I don't have my shirt up just to do none of that weird-ish. I'm just taking y'all through my day in the life situations. I'm actually not the biggest person about having the shirt off on cam either. Um, that's not that's not your boy Bailey, not gonna lie. But I'm growing, I'm doing things, that's how I would do it. Like, I'd probably be in my underwear in this ish, probably doing it, but like obviously I'm not gonna do that on camera, and I got a shorty, and I'm locked in for life type ish, and I gotta keep everybody happy, and I would never do that anyway. So, but my cat, I gotta turn on light on. I'm over here trying to cook up a steak, and it's got a, a little bit of fat on it, and uh, I don't like fat like that. I did wash my hands since I got back from the gym. Y'all weird. Hey, shout out Wardo in the cam, cuh. Hey, hold on, Wardo. Come here, my mama. Come here, ma. Look. This is my life. Hey, she bullshitting right now. Break, break, break the beats.